Hello everyone and welcome back to another Interlude Reacts. Today we are mm -hmm. reacting to 10 of the most strangest phobias. And you ain't gonna believe them. Let's Oof. go, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, damn. Oh. Zone A. A. Ten strangest phobias you won't believe exist. Oh, an AI Number video. It's gonna be like standing up or something. Humans have been fascinated with the moon now, but some people actually have selenophobia, which is fear of the moon. Perhaps oh. it has something to do with the superstition that revolves around the moon. Rationally speaking, the moon has no supernatural features, yet the moon is still feared. Normally, I get it, it's just a big floating rock that's like absolutely massive. Their house at like... night time. Some symptoms associated Boys with are like, yeah, you go out and you're like, oh fuck. Anxiety, just don't look up. <laughs> dry <laughs> mouth. I'm looking at the meat. Dry mouth. I think they're, I think they're just frost. I can't lie. For some writers, the idea of someone else reading their work is terrifying. Whether it's that's a phobia. Of a that's scared of people reading their masterpiece or writing. Because of shyness, that's just called insecure. And the thought of others reading what they've written. People with script phobia tend to be fairly secretive about their writing. Symptoms with this phobia are usually paranoia, fainting, and trembling. Fainting, crazy. Do you know what? Marley actually has that. She'll write a song and won't show a few anyone. Horror movies. The fear of Halloween, aka Santanophobia, is fairly common these days. People who have this fear stay indoors on October 31st. That's, and do not I think that's understandable. Any of the holiday festivities. I, I get they that. are scared of costumes, decorations, and loud noises that are associated with Halloween, and usually become very anxious okay. and at times suffer from panic attacks. I get that. It is safe to say that there won't be any tricks or treats for people who suffer. It's slightly weird that these have names, like full on names for these yeah, things. Like phobia should have a name by now. Like, people who have a name. People just name them Top if they doesn't really have one. If they have avoid it. eating at Asian restaurants because they are terrified of using chopsticks. <laughs> Even if they love the food, they okay, will that was not. That's kind of not. You're just a pussy. Or. Two sticks to try and just get a wood. Just get a wood. <laughs> wood. Just <laughs> hold the wood and start eating, man. Scared of sticks. If put in a situation, don't come to my house, love. <laughs> don't come to my house and just get a stick. Yeah, there's too many sticks around here. <laughs> too yeah. many sticks. Number six, palatophobia. Palatophobia is being scared of bald people. Brilliant. Fuck! <laughs> so people oh, yeah. Fuck you shiny! <laughs> You're bald! <laughs> ah. What? You oh, fuck shiny. you shiny! Palatophobia <laughs> stay away from baldness as much as possible. It's like the sponge bob that's as far as avoiding buying products like Mr. Clean. We Mr. Clean. Clean, oh yeah, true. Mr. Clean. Experiences when he realizes so Harry Hill just doesn't in. Alright, that's a scary thing though. Is, Number five, linen. Bro, linen. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I'm that's scared that's of that. String. string is oh. used for many useful things. That bitch is going to store things or secure objects, but some string. people are absolutely terrified of it. Most likely, so I can understand being cringed out maybe by the feeling or the look of it, but being like terrified of string. So what's he gonna do? <laughs> what's he doing to you? Hey, whoever that is, they're definitely vanilla in the bedroom, you know. What are you doing with string in the bedroom? Nah, bro. bigger things than string, man. <laughs> <laughs> little strand the <laughs> fucking. Number four. Jiggle wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> The fear of working, you're just a bum. How about that? Fear of working. Got them Disney's bum. going. What's the opposite? Times, I definitely got that. <laughs> people have had awful experiences in the past, usually involving losing previous jobs or being humiliated while working. If you're sitting under your desk and losing your job, you've got social anxiety. These people spend their days watching and a professional work in the streets looking for money and aren't too concentrated on looking for work because of their fear. Number three, it is. Aerophobia is the strange fear of having peanut butter oh, but stuck, but <laughs> it's like nothing. stuck on the roof of your what? mouth. That's so specific. Nah, he just picked it, 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 it to tasting it and It's the fear of peanut butter being stuck on the roof of your mouth. That's so specific for no reason. Aerophobia sufferers usually have high symptoms of anxiety. The voice no, can't even say it right. Yeah. Situations and at times feel silly for their thoughts. See, I don't like peanut butter. So maybe I should feel silly. Philophobia. Why is it going lower when it says? Is it getting dark? Like philophobia. Some of your single friends out there actually suffer from this phobia. 
Fear of love. Fear of love. It's how it be sometimes. It's how it be. Yeah, but are you sitting there going, stay away from social gatherings? Yeah, just like that as well. I'm not very scared. When placed in situations that love's a scary thing, man. They become shaky, nauseated, and shaky. Ah, now you're taking it too far. Shaky. You're just asexual. I'm phallophobia. <laughs> this one may seem bizarre, but I'm fell. I've, I've actually you met people that are scared of belly, belly buttons. buttons. It can stem from yes, so have I actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know so someone. Have I. I know someone that's scared of belly buttons. In cultures, they, they, they used to cry. Them, guys. They used to cry when they saw them. Right. People, I'd be like, bro, I came back from holiday. Look at my tiny. Went, no, 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 don't show me. There was a girl in school. Lift up your top. <laughs> yeah, it was the same thing. There was a girl in school, and you'd show her your belly button. And if too many people did it, it to take the mic, it's kind of mean. <laughs> if, if, everyone, if everyone just started showing their belly buttons, she'd that's eventually so, cry. That's and it was so kind of funny. Peak, but yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. You're asking hey. to get violated. Game's a game. Game's a game. Their own the belly button game. And even <laughs> the belly button game. <laughs> I want to play. They even Classes. They away from public places Boy. where belly buttons might be seen. Yeah, that's so peak, like holidays, the swimming the pool, that's the yeah. beach. Thank you so that's much for watching, intro. yo. Let me know if you got any weird phobias. And... Or you have any of these phobias? Yeah, let me know. You got? Well, and I want you to type in the comments. I'm a pussy. Or. Don't tell me what comment okay. it is. Just okay. say I'm a pussy or in the comments, and we'll know. Well, it. Jake would do that, um, but <laughs> yeah. I will. <laughs> um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us absolutely everywhere at the interview, but the user underscore still is. Yeah. See you next Sunday. I'm scared of people that aren't subscribed to the interlude. True. Ah!